Yeah. Maple Street Bookshop. I still have customers that I've known all my life. For most of his life, Maple Street Bookshop has been part of it. Gladden Scott went from being a customer as a teenager to an employee and eventually the owner in 2013. This was going to be my retirement job. Thank you so much for coming in. Sadly, retirement day for the bookshop is coming sooner than he'd hoped. It is a narrative he would not have crafted, but a reality he saw coming two years ago. Scott almost closed up shop in 2015. Customers were so supportive that it gave the shop a big boost, and I decided to stay open, hoping that we keep a little of that bump in business. That bump in business was short-lived, and when it comes to the business's expenses, Scott comes up on the short end. It's a fate sealed with the use of more technology. Henry Griffin remembers spending hours on these aisles as a child. I worked here when I was 10 years old. Griffin remembers organizing and alphabetizing as a kid, new titles, new authors, and new adventures, all found on the page. A magical and memorable place he believes will live in the hearts of book lovers long after the shop closes. I think it'll still serve the community that remembers it because it was a definitely a special place. When people think about reading, they think about stores like this. Since the announcement of its pending closure, the phones have been ringing. I'm sorry, we're out of stock, both new and used. And the foot traffic has been steady. The moment, at times, overwhelming. There is definitely a feeling that you're letting people down by closing. But on the other hand, you know, if the store consistently lo loses money, you can't afford to keep it going any longer. It is the final chapter in a story that's inspired countless generations. A last act for the little bookshop that made a big difference in the community. For a small neighborhood business, this was just outstanding. Gina Swanson, WDSU News.